Hello YouTubers, fellow reefers, Fragbox TV here and today I want to talk to you about Blastomusa corals. So Blastomusa, it's a type of LPS coral, um, sometimes referred to as pineapple coral. I'm not sure why, I don't really see it. I guess that's just the nickname they've decided. Generally though, um, they're called Blastos for short and they are very similar to acans, but they kind of look like I would say they look like mushrooms. They often get confused for mushrooms. Um, they come in a lot of cool colors and variations and maybe two or three different types of growth patterns that I can think of. So this is um, one style where they grow almost, not encrusting, but they grow more flat and larger heads. And then there's another one, right, that grows really big, the fat head blastos. Like enormous, enormous heads. They almost look like brain corals. And then there's another one that is like a microblasto, so it's called Merletti, yeah, Blastomusa Merletti. I don't have any to show you right now. And then there's one more that's more branching, where they grow out uh, much longer stems and away from the rock. And I find those ones actually are a lot easier to frag and keep. Well, actually, no, they're, they're all relatively easy to keep. They're not any harder than any other type of LPS coral, but it is... Yeah, LPS, a large polyp stony, and it's characterized by these sort of large swollen um, heads or polyps. They even um, get confused sometimes uh, for anemones if they're if they're large enough. Um, red, I would say, is the most common color for blasto, and then purple and green is quite common. And then sometimes you get very unusual patterns uh, and colors that kind of make the price go up. The blastos I, in the last couple of years have gotten quite expensive. Corals in general actually. The prices of corals have gone up um, a lot in the last I would say three to five years. The availability of corals like blastos, corals in general, harder to get in, there's less out there. Uh, we're moving more towards uh, maricultured and farm corals. So the price of them have gone up um, quite a bit. So a piece like this up here in Canada, it is 2021. This would sell for about, I don't know, $100 roughly. But if you're thinking to add one to your tank, very easy coral. Um, you don't need an established reef tank or anything like that. Um, low to medium water flow, they do well on the sand bed. Or low rock work and low to medium light as well. And they're not, they don't have any sting that I know of, so they're not going to hurt any other corals. They're not going to hurt each other. You can bunch them together to create almost like blasto gardens. I'm going to show you what we've done in one tank. So this is Tia's Evo here that you may have seen in some other videos. Tia, your glass is really dirty. This is not YouTube quality. This does not belong on Fragdox TV. It's okay. Someone hijacked. Okay, you know what? Excuses. And <laughs> the, the point of this, I'm just trying to show you that she's created a beautiful, stunning Glastomusa garden here with, I don't know, maybe five or six different types all glued together and it's perfectly fine they're not going to hurt each other they're not going to hurt other corals it's really really cool to do that you can do the same with acans i'll do another video talking about how to keep uh acans these ones are super happy and healthy with their tentacles out but it's kind of cool i think when you can bunch different colors and corals together to create this uh, almost an effect as if they were one singular coral when in fact it's just five or six frags that have been glued together Last thing I will talk about is feeding. So blastos like acans, like open brains, like acanthophilia, like cinaria, like all LPS corals love to eat. Um, very active eaters. And I always recommend this food here. This is our personal favorite here in the store. I've done lots of videos uh, on it before. This is their new packaging. So you get a little bit more for the same price. This is awesome, awesome, high protein food. The reaction out of the corals is tremendous. The growth is remarkable. The color, just try this stuff. I, you know, I'm so happy to sell products like this because they really, really do work. So give this stuff a shot. But um, like any other LPS, just feed them with pellets, one or two per mouth, and they react really well to feeding. And they'll grow much faster. They just look overall fatter and healthier and happier with supplemental feeding. But I think that's it for today's video. If you guys got any questions, as usual, comments below or I'll put our info. You can get in touch with us. This is Frag Box TV. Thank you very much for watching.